Okay. Okay. We are live now. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first uh, Q and A session organized by the introduction program. We are the crew, and uh, let me start with the introductions. My name is Shloka. I am a second year master student of sustainable energy technology, and uh, I am accompanied by my crew member Sushma. Hi. <laughs> I am studying marine technology at 3ME, also a second year master's, uh, and I'm excited to finish my study sometime soon. <laughs> yeah. With us, we have one of the student ambassadors, Christos. If you could please introduce yourself to the audience. Of course. Hello, everyone. I'm Christos. Uh, I'm studying at the Faculty of Architecture and Building Environment. Uh, my master's is in Geomatics. I'm a member of the student ambassadors team, uh, and we're here today to answer whichever question or concern you might have. Uh, just feel free. <laughs> yeah. So, to give you a basic idea about the introduction program, it's a three day long program happening for all the incoming masters, bridging, and exchange students who will join us in the spring. Uh, I, I assume all of you have received the registration form for the introduction program, and we encourage all of you to please fill it as soon as you can to let us know about your uh, availability during the program. We are very excited to have you and we have very, very exciting, very interesting events in store for you, which we will be releasing to you as the days come on all our social media platforms. Uh, to start with, how this will go is that you can put in all your questions in the chat, anything regarding moving to Delft, living in Delft, any questions regarding any general questions about what to bring with you, what can you expect over here since right now it's very cold and we've been at sub-zero temperatures for almost five, six days now. Yes, in a row. <laughs> yes, and we had a lot of snowfall last night as well. And quite tricky to ride on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen people slip in front of me, so yeah. it was quite scary. <laughs> so, any questions you have about what can you expect when you come here for your uh, masters and your bridging course, you can shoot away in the chat section and we will take it one by one. Yeah. Okay. Right. I haven't seen any questions yet. Hmm. Most people with such a weather from South Canvas, they suffer. Like, uh, <laughs> friends, of mine, friends of mine, they can't stand it even. Like, oh my gosh, it's, yeah. It's, it's extreme. <laughs> True. Well, um, I don't see any questions yet. I hope you're audible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I hear like uh, the situation in Schiphol is still bad. <laughs> With uh, oh yeah, there we go. We have a question. As an exchange student, I had to pay six thousand nine seventy five euros to be accepted. How much of that should I use on rent? What is the average cost of a student room in Delft? Maybe Christos, you can start off. Yeah, about um, rent. Um, <laughs> okay, about rent, I would say right now because of the inflation and uh, the whole energy. Si situation and the energy crisis, yeah. the rents went a little bit higher. Uh, if you make this question like last year or two years ago, uh, the price might be around five hundred because there is also an allowance that student uh, most students are eligible for. Right. But right now, I would say around 650. Wow. Uh, That's yeah. <laughs> around 650 uh, right. might be a rent. Um, okay. And apart from that, I, I also noticed uh, the cost for groceries yeah. in general has risen. Yeah. <laughs> Especially dairy products, uh, yeah, so milk, oil, oh my bread, gosh. everything yeah. has skyrocketed <laughs> right now thanks to the war. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when if you're asking about rent, I know people who pay as less as 350-400 euros per month sure. if you're able to find it, yeah. a, yeah. a, house, like that, a yeah. house like that. Yeah. Yeah. And people who pay as high as 900 euros per month if you're staying in the student hotel. Yeah. <laughs> if you get a studio or some shared accommodation by Duo that are eligible for allowance, your rent can come down by almost 300 euros mm -hmm. as we were staying in a studio for the last year and we were getting almost 300 euros allowance from the government yes. for that. Yes. Yeah, so it brought down our rent price yeah. a lot. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then 
Next question, is it necessary to own a bike or can you rent a bike for a long period, for around six months for an exchange student? Would you like to answer? Yeah, I, could, yeah. I would also say something on that. Yes. Uh, owning a bike for me is a necessity, especially in the Netherlands. This is a country which, which is like really um, bike friendly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so all, even all the distances, they yeah. are made in this way that True. bike is the best solution, mm -hmm. always. Uh, to buy a bike is not necessarily uh, one way. Uh, you could also rent, I think. And there's also reliable yeah. uh, sources for that. Exactly. Right? Like, I know about OV, OV uh, Fits, yeah, which yeah. is the public transportation bikes, right. uh, and you pay something like three and a half euros per day. It's uh, which is now. which is <laughs> ah, it's for fifty now. <laughs> Inflation. It's right. inflation, yeah, inflation. Yeah, yeah, which is quite expensive. I, I wouldn't suggest it's for it's for really short term, like yeah. for a tourist yeah. who visits Netherlands. Uh, Another option. Could otherwise, be swap, swap it. Yeah, swap it. Yeah, yeah swap They have a six month subscription. They have a six month subscription. I think catering to the exchange yeah, itself. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that swap feeds is very convenient to use. I yes. think. Uh, Swap feeds would be a perfect option if you do not want to rent, or if you do not want to buy a, buy a bike or a second hand yes. one over here. Sure. Yeah, and the price is around uh, eight, 18, 18 euros mm -hmm. per month. Yeah, yeah. that's the lowest, uh, that's the budget package, and there's a higher one which yeah. is around 22 euros, and you get a gear bike. Yeah, yeah. so still worth it. Uh, you should give it a try. Totally. Yes. Because everywhere here, I think Netherlands is one of the most uh, bike friendly nations yes. in the world mm -hmm. and the infrastructure for biking is very advanced and very very neat i would say <laughs> so yes it is worth investing even if it's for rent in a bike it gets right. to places very easily true mm -hmm. okay next question uh, i'm looking for a room have you any advice about where to look <laughs> well it depends. Uh, if you have, uh, if you want to take the uh, housing from the university, I we would suggest that you pay your fees as soon as possible because I think they release give you access to the housing portal yeah. based on when you pay your fees. So if yeah. you pay your fees earlier, you're given access earlier. So there's one the university housing. Apart from that, you can uh, use the website called room.nl. Uh, where you can uh, make your account and then that's a recurring yeah. uh, uh, that's a recurring subscription. I don't think you have to pay anything for that. There is something like a priority there's list. A, there's a priority list for yeah. each room. Yeah, uh, true. So it's highly possible not to find something from there. Yeah. Uh, Apart from that, there's Kamarnet. Uh, I could probably write it down. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good option. And best of all, uh, I think you can find advertisements on Facebook. Yes. Uh, so there are plenty of housing pages, but be aware that there's plenty of scams around. Uh, so be careful when yeah. they ask for a deposit or payment beforehand. Yeah. Uh, without a contract, and usually all housing contracts are in Dutch. So uh, that's a uh, that's a tip, I guess, in a way that you need to keep in mind. Um, and maybe your circles as well, because uh, that's how you connect. Uh, maybe a friend's friend's neighbor is moving out, <laughs> and so. Uh, you can get get yourself a room that way. Yeah. There are also many uh, like real estate uh, offices. Yeah. That, yes, true. That could be also an option. Uh, yeah. um, don't know, like, uh, can we write any of them in the chat? Like, do we know any? Or do you know? I know. Any? I know about Pararius. Yeah. And, yes. And be, oh, yes. be home. Okay. Yeah. This this might be might be helpful. Yes. You could talk to a lot of people beforehand because some people go for an extra semester abroad mm -hmm. who are giving out their room for rent for a specific period of time and if it exactly matches the time you're staying here, that would be a perfect way to, you know, get a place to stay. Sure, as well, yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay, then... Can we go get to Delft from the Eindhoven airport or do we need to go to Amsterdam? I've done it. There's... You can directly go to Delft. Yeah, um, I know. Yeah. yeah, you can take the NS train. Yep. Uh, there's get an anonymous. Okay. They get an anonymous OV chip card, or you can get a ticket on the station itself, and you can directly come to Delft. There's a one and a half hour journey. Sure. You can directly come. Through. Like okay. last time I had it, it was one point five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the bus from the airport to Eindhoven and right. yes, yes. from Eindhoven. This. Although it must be noted that uh, there's a little of a shortage yeah. in cancellations in trains, so watch out. Uh, it may not go as planned sometimes. 
but uh, they're trying to cope up with it uh, for now by replacing trains and giving a better schedule. Yeah. And the best apps to keep in track for uh, your uh, trains, buses, trams, everything is 9292 and NS. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sushma will type it in the chat. I think you will not be able to survive in depth without, <laughs> without those these. two apps in your phone. Yep. Yep. Okay. What's I on? will arrive at the airport of Amsterdam. Is there any advice for me to go to the train or taxi? Train is very convenient. Right. Taxis are much more expensive. <laughs> yeah. And if you have a lot of luggage, uh, there is probably a restriction on how much luggage you can fit in the taxi as well. If you know a few people who are arriving with you, you can get a group ticket that six, five, six of you can travel together and brings down the cost a lot. So, because at the Schiphol airport, just outside the airport is your uh, NS train and you can directly get on the train and come all the way to Dallas. Alright. The day of the final World Cup yes. might be a little bit tricky. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think anyone I, is coming. I, I don't know the track, how it's going to be that day. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <fair. laughs> okay. Uh, so, someone says they have seen that there are no classes in July, but there are reset exams around the 20th. Should I take those resets into account when planning when to return home? Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Okay. I mean, if, if, if you are sure that uh, you will pass this course, yeah. um, that the date falls so much True. back in July, yeah. okay. So, and like, you can't really judge whether you will, whether you will be confident about it, because you have to first attend the course, a few lectures, and see how uh, how you can cope with the stress or maybe the amount of uh, workload that there is. So uh, you can't really say much about it unless you've attended a few lectures there. But yeah, definitely keep it into account that yeah. there is a reason to be yeah. <laughs> Okay. What to do in, in Delft and surroundings on weekends or holidays? Ooh, this is where we talk question. about <laughs> the uni life app. Perhaps? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So there is the very famous Uni Life app. I think Sushma can yeah, type that as well. Yes. Uh, there you can find a lot of events uh, that are organized in Delft, in TU Delft, and in other universities that are under the four TU. Uh, there they talk about events ranging from book reading, from visiting a place together, cooking, uh, city, together. cooking together. Yeah. 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 Uh, City crawl, yeah. pub crawl, a Picnics. lot of yeah. events. Oh, what yeah. you can do in Delft by yourself, we have the Thursday market, we have the Saturday market. There museums. are a lot of uh, museums that you can visit, not only in Delft. A museum card subscription would, oh, yeah. would be very much suggested because it's very cheap and you can visit all museums all in the whole of Netherlands for a year. Yeah. And uh, on weekends or holidays, people mostly go to the beach that is in The Hague. Yeah. <laughs> some people go to Rotterdam, some people go to Amsterdam, some people travel all the way to Maastricht because yeah. it's a very good place for hiking because that's probably the only place that is hilly yeah. <laughs> in the Netherlands. Even Delft has a beach. Uh, Delft is a hood. Oh, yes. Yeah. Delft is a hub. Yeah, yeah. 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 By the lake. Yes, <laughs> exactly. It's, also it's a nice place for people go because in February it's not very cold, but not yet spring, so people go there for barbecues. <laughs> uh, in February, March, I, oh, yeah. I know that places are totally completely filled with people cooking their uh, barbecue and you know with their families and just chilling sure. out. But don't swim there. <laughs> don't swim there. Not <laughs> in February. Don't, don't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Apart okay. from that, you can do a lot of shopping in IKEA. I think the first two weeks will uh, take you. You will take a lot of time, you know, in thrift shops in IKEA. There are thrift shops also where, you, if you want, you can buy some secondhand furniture. If you don't want to buy something for a long period of time, where you can probably purchase or rent, you can go shopping. You can go to the center. There are a lot of things to do in the center. Right. There's an app for second hand which is called Mark Plus. Mark Plus. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'll yeah. mention that. Uh, we have some important questions. Can you go yeah. for it? Uh, yeah. I'll just share the link. Would you recommend Plus. someone already living in Amsterdam to get a room in Delft while studying? Uh, if your time period is for six months, uh, I do not know how much it makes sense to come all the way to Delft unless you find a place for exactly six months. Exactly six months, yeah. <laughs> Because how much time does it take from Amsterdam? One hour? One hour, yeah. Yeah. Something like 55 minutes. Yeah. And oh. if you don't have classes every day, I think it does not make sense to go shift all the way to Delft. Yeah. 
Probably, but depending on your travel subscription as well. Yeah, depending on your travel subscription. So if if you already have the free Dutch uh, Uh, student uh, travel product, travel part, you can just shuttle every day, not an issue. (laughs) Right. Okay, uh, then another question. uh, Do we need any more apps? Hmm. Or just something to keep? (laughs) Just in case. My Tudelt app. My Tudelt. Yes. Okay. In column. NS9292. Yeah. Teams. Outlook, <laughs> Yuri Life, <laughs> yes. Uh, a- any app related to Microsoft and for your uh, study schedule, the Brightspace Pulse app is also one thing yeah. where you can access uh, all your uh, courses, course material, timetable, etc. Right. Um, okay. Also, the uh, bank application in oh, case yes. in case somebody intends to like uh, a bank open yeah. a Dutch bank account. Yeah. Um, they work a lot with um, with uh, credit cards, debit cards here, sure. uh, electronic, payment. yeah. electronic payment. So it's super handy to have the application on your mobile phone. Right. Yeah. Sure. Even uh, some grocery markets apps like Albertine and Yumbo, I mm-hmm. keep that sure. yeah. for my discounts yeah. <laughs> and my bonuses. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's one uh, app called uh, OK, and that's uh, it gives you an overview of all the grocery stores mm-hmm. in in the Netherlands, and so you can identify which product is the cheapest at which store because the prices vary from each store. Uh, so I'll also share that then. Okay, uh, moving on to the next question. Why do some landlords tell me their rooms are not registered? Does that mean that they cannot rent it to me because I need registration? Uh, in my experience, I would say if there's no possibility to register at the room, um, it's probably a scam or yeah. it's illegal. So better get not better not get involved in that. I think the registration is about you being registered with the municipality because yeah. if you ha- when you ha- only when you have a municipality registration can you set up your bank account and other things yeah. and uh, you get your BSN number that's you, your identification. You need an address yes. for the BSN. Yeah. So. Yes. So if they are saying that you're not registered, you will be stuck because you cannot get your BSN number and if you don't get your BSN number, you cannot proceed with a lot of financial or government related. Works yeah. over here. You cannot get your health insurance, you cannot get your rental insurance, nothing can happen. Mm-hmm. Allowance, I mean, so sorry. Only like if you really know the person who, who says that the room is not registered, <laughs> like right. you can you can trust that person, yeah. then only it's okay. Because some people they own a house, uh, they prefer not to uh, state it in the municipality, so as to get all the all the income and rent for them and not to pay any taxes. Yeah. This, this could be the case, but besides that, it's quite risky. Right. Yeah. Okay. Another interesting question. When is the class schedule released and what is the last day to add or drop out of classes? I think this is highly dependent on the faculty or the department. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I think they mostly release the schedule one week before the classes start. Right. And you can add and drop uh, whenever you want. I mean, you, you start your classes when it's uh, starting, but yeah. you can drop it in between if you yes. feel you cannot follow it. Normally, you have like a month's time to drop out because mm-hmm. you want to follow uh, the course and see how it is. And usually lecturers or professors are okay with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also once the schedule is released, it's yes. released for the whole semester. Yeah. Like, Sure. You know, prior, uh, the whole w- when, when, might, when might be the receipt in July? Yes, example. that's yeah, true. Yeah, At true. least in, in architecture, is like that. Yes, right. yes, yes. The, the, the whole schedule is given and you are aware, okay, mm-hmm. in for the next two months, this class is scheduled at this time yeah. Yeah. every week. Right. So, but and yeah. also, if the professor has any uh, important updates, you just check the Brightspace course mm-hmm. uh, for that uh, particular course. And that's where you get all the information from. Yeah. Yeah. Then a question not related to living, but very important. Will this Q&A session stay available after it ends? Yep. It's, sure. uh, it's, yeah. It gets saved on the YouTube uh, of Instagram and you can always access it after it's done. Yeah. What's Delft's policy on recording or streaming lessons? Oh, you mean the... Oh, well... I think not all courses are recorded. Um, it depends on the number of students and 
but there is a facility uh, on campus for almost all lecture rooms uh, to record. Uh, there's a streaming service called Collegerama. I'm going to share that. Um, and, uh, Especially after COVID, they, they, I think they, they started more. Yes, uh, because the professors want to them. encourage yeah. you attending lectures offline. Uh, yeah. But uh, since this academic year, I think the number of uh, live sessions have reduced yeah. because they want exactly. more students to come on campus, yes. which I still suggest is much better than Definitely. sitting in your house and attending lectures because that's where you actually get to interact with your peers. Yeah. You know, you have group, group sessions, uh, instruction sessions. You can interact with your faculty and ask them queries, you know, make contacts with them in case you need their help sometime in the future for any project. And uh, there are some classes that are still recorded, still streamed live, but what they do on Brightspace is that they upload old lectures, that old recordings, so that even if you miss a class, you have the recording and it's just not that you're depending on the notes. Right. I would say something like 95% now is uh, on-site. On campus, of, of yeah. The lectures. yeah. 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 Okay. But, but one last thing, the professors are very open in case somebody cannot attend yeah. uh, to record the lecture uh, just for you. Even if it's one person, they you, you can just ask them and they will be like, okay, no problem, yeah. uh, I can do it online. Yeah. Would you please recommend some second-hand websites or apps? There's Rata Plan, which is a very big. Uh, yeah, store. but it's not online. Yeah. Uh, but it's a thrift store here in Delft, right? Yeah. So I got a lot of things from Rata Plan. Yeah, I remember. What is the typical size of a class? The amount of students per classroom. Mm -hmm. um, so it depends on the program, I believe, because some courses are followed by different master's programs. Uh, so depending on that, uh, it could vary from like. 40 students to 100. my class has 180 students yeah. so <laughs> my professor is selecting 200 papers right now yes. and he is just like it's a nightmare so yeah my, my program is one of the smallest and consists of mm -hmm. 25 oh look at that yeah okay so it can <laughs> that be, must be really a quite few experience. up until 100 i think okay interesting yeah. how receptive are dutch people in general. No, I think you missed two questions. Oh, oh. Are there any differences with networking or speaking to profs in Netherlands at Tudor? Oh, they are the most friendly people. I can assure you that <laughs> professors are always open to talking to you, always open to discussing anything with you, uh, be it related to any course, be it related to his work, be it related to if you are wanting to pursue any uh, project under him, they're always open to discuss it with you, even if they don't offer you maybe because they don't have an opening. But they will always guide you, okay, if we cannot do it, we know this person who can take you for your project or for your enthusiasm. Right. So that way they're very friendly, at least I've seen that in my faculty. Exactly. Right. And there are a lot of events. I, I don't know about India, but I'm from Greece and yes. in Greece it's not really common to do this type of events that people just meet, meet together, they, they grab like uh, something to drink and they just discuss. Yeah, right. um, and yeah. it's so much helpful and <laughs> get to, to meet people. Not only your professors better, but also potential people that you will work for in yeah. the future. Yeah. My professor yeah. took me home to uh, me and a few of my colleagues to watch the match. They were in Netherlands versus <laughs> Ecuador. Yeah. I don't think I'd ever get that sort of invitation right. back in my home country. No. So they're, they're very friendly, they're very open as well. Right. Okay. Um, what's your favorite part of Delft? Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> right. I can I can say something that, that yes. I really like is is the fact that it's um, people from different countries like such a variety of students I ha I have never encountered anywhere else that I've been right. uh, like yeah. here you can literally meet people from every yeah. corner of the planet yeah like, that's very true yeah. <laughs> if if they would allow penguins to attend there would be penguins from Antarctica as well <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I personally like uh, the culture of student associations because uh, it becomes part of your life basically it defines your uh, circles and your personal life as well you meet a lot of people you get a sort of an exposure that that you can't get anywhere else so I, I treasure that about the university what it offers um, <laughs> I think my favorite part would be the interacting with such uh, technically 
enriched minds over here. I right. think every single person over here uh, gives you a completely different outlook to any topic you're talking about. And since I am studying sustainable energy, I feel you know the whole energy crisis is very relevant to my studies. Sure, and yeah, exactly. I don't think I could have gotten this sort of exposure back in my home country. And the knowledge that I'm picking up from here, I think it's just <laughs> it's just really good. And I think and I think that way I can make the change in the world that I want to see. Yeah. Right. Uh, we have a follow up question: uh, Is it too late to join societies or clubs, and how much do they cost? So it is not too late, uh, no. and there are events during the IT where you get to connect with these societies and student associations. So watch out for uh, any uh, announcements that we make about the program events, uh, and that's where you find uh, info about that. Are you a part of any student association? Uh, <laughs> are you? Except the ambassador school. <laughs> I was a member of a study association that's different from student associations that uh, focus on like sports or uh, other parts of life. But the study association, uh, I spent a year as a board member and. That gave me a lot of exposure, although it was in the COVID time, like we, we still didn't have many events to organize. Uh, but now I see, you know, the association come to a full, full uh, potential sort of. And we've had like two excursions in just two weeks. And I've, I, I miss that. So uh, it's a great opportunity in that. Yeah, segment. there are a lot of uh, associations that take you on uh, trips, trips, uh, uh, study, study trips, excursions, yes. especially during the summer. Yes, uh, best Delft yeah. uh, takes you, I do not know, everywhere I can think of. <laughs> Outside Europe, yeah. like go to Singapore yeah. or something. <laughs> I didn't know that, so I could invest. Yes, yes, <laughs> I rem they have some uh, courses for uh, exchange programs during the summer in different parts of the world. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it, it may be a little expensive nice. for few, uh, but it's still an But in your your faculty, the department's uh, study association and student association also organizes yes. uh, such uh, study tours. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they are, I think, much cheaper than uh, this one. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's never too late. I think you can join only after you come to the university. I don't think you can join before <laughs> that. Yeah. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, how receptive are Dutch people in general that with foreigners? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if, I, if, if I speak uh, considering the level of English that they have, they are a lot. Like, yes. Yeah. They are super friendly, willing to help. Like, um, yeah, and, and they speak perfectly English. So, like, the yes. language barrier, you will not encounter such an issue. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, for them, it's really easy to. <laughs> To speak and communicate yes. and help you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they are they are smiley. They are they are okay. <laughs> like I think for uh, for me personally, like the, the the most experience I have is is from from the U from the yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I go like to northern part of the Netherlands or to to a village. Uh, mm -hmm. If it would be like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People are friendly. They are, yeah. People, people are, are friendly. friendly. They can be direct. The Dutch are known to be yeah, very direct. Uh... <laughs> they will not, uh, you know, beat around the bush when they want to get their point heard. Yeah. And I think that is sometimes much more required than, you know, being diplomatic. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, but they're very friendly and you won't see the language barrier over here as you might see in other countries. Sure. And very punctual. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh yes. You can Highly be productive uh, yes. to the schedule all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Every every I'm pretty sure they have like a proper minute minute by oh minute breakdown yeah. of yeah. what how their day looks like. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, they are very functional and I think they will be disappointed if you come like two, three minutes late for True. any meeting. True. Yeah. They show up early. <laughs> yeah. In general. Okay. Um is it oh no. Uh, are there parties inside campus? Can you have a party in your student accommodation? You can have parties in your accommodation. You can, yeah. 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 As long as you're not disturbing yeah. the neighbor, yeah. uh, neighbors, and I yes. think after 11 or 12 o'clock, you Normally. need a minimal voice. Uh, you cannot, uh, you know, make noise beyond a specific threshold yeah. because then they might complain to the police. police. Yeah. But you can have parties in your, in your house, yeah. and it's always nice. Yeah. It's a good practice to let everyone in the building know that you're holding a party yeah. if you're having too many guests. 
Uh, and and then clean up, please. Yeah, clean up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen that uh, in my accommodation. We would have we would go insane with parties, and the next morning it's just extremely like a little bag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. Then you were where do you want? Thing? Yeah, I wanted to yes. say that in the place that I live, um, at, at Roland, they even mentioned in the contract that okay. you can have gatherings for parties, but uh-huh. uh, try to be like. Consider it to the to, to your neighbors. Yeah, true. Sure. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Normally the Keep walls. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Normally the walls are pretty thin, uh, so voice goes out uh, across the corridor, basically. Yeah. So um, be conscious of that uh, and be sensible about others. Uh, Definitely. <laughs> and the parties inside campus. Yes. I think every faculty has its own pub. And yes. which are open on specific days and from 1st of January the rule is that you can have alcohol only after 5 o'clock. Yeah. So there are a lot of parties that happen inside the pubs of every faculty. Sometimes and they have a faculty day open yeah. uh, open day for the pub, yeah. so that's when. Some happens. associations uh, like my student association sometimes takes us to the uh, to the pub in the in my faculty. We have karaoke night yeah. or just a free beer night, beer and pizza night where yeah. you just hang out with your classmates yeah. and... Uh, chill or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Also, uh, in the architecture faculty, uh, there's an event that is called BK Beach. It took place last year oh. uh, and okay. it's the biggest faculty party. Yes, 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 I've heard of this. <laughs> yeah. I've heard of this. Wow, yeah, BK was, Beach, I've heard amazing. of this. Yeah. They, they, they converted the whole building uh, to a concert. Uh, wow. They had multiple concert stages. When did this happen? Uh, I think April. Yes. Oh, April. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, by the time I could book tickets for that, I was already late. And yeah. it, was, it was gone in like two, in 15 minutes, I think it was gone. Sheesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Extremely fast. And is it only for BK students? Or? No, it's for everyone. No. no. Just BK students, architecture students, they have a uh, priority. They, okay. they, they take part um, in the pre sale. Right. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So nice. Where do you find out about societies and clubs? I think there is on the website. Uh, but I believe you you'll find out about this uh, at your faculty introduction mm-hmm. uh, because these clubs belong to your faculty. But here but there is a website. Yeah, that. this is for the dream teams. You can see these are all technical teams that are involved in million things like building cars, building boats, uh, building hydrogen cars, electric vehicles. Uh, the uh, what's that called? Hyperloop. There's also a team that's building the Hyperloop, so they do all fancy technical uh, stuff over mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Okay. Could, I, could exchange students get some help about career planning? Yes, definitely. Uh, there's many workshops on career um, and, and and LinkedIn, stuff like that. Um, and they ha- there's a specific service provider called Career and Counseling Services at TU Delft. And um, they hold regular workshops about career uh, planning, so you can look them up. Uh, I'll share the web page. That's the official from the Udall site. Yes. Yeah. The exactly. Career counseling. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And they will also be present at one of the IP events as well. So make sure to be there. Um, yeah. Oh, is there any availability for on-campus accommodation? So. On campus accommodation for that you need to pay your fees earlier when you uh, accept your admission. I think at that time they ask whether you want to take the uh, university housing offer yeah. or not. And if you click yes, uh, based on when you pay your fees, you get uh, access to the housing portal. It's called Duo D U W O, and mm-hmm. those uh, houses are pretty much located on okay. the campus and in a two two kilometer radius. Around yeah, I think the, the platform is Room NL. Right. Oh yeah, now it's room.nl. It's room.nl and uh, Duvo, Duvo is one of the... Yeah, you, you must... Or the Udelst makes the registration for you. Only if you paid for, for, for the university housing, yeah. You, yeah. they make the registration for you. Otherwise, you have to register yeah. by yourself. Um, normally, international mm-hmm. students have a preference package. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're living outside of the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think Duvo is one provider. Yeah. Xior is Xior another, is another provider. provider. Uh, uh, yeah. Another one. Student uh, Hotel as well. Yes. And the one near library. Uh, Camelot. Camelot. Yeah. Yeah. Camelot. Yeah, yeah. That one. As well. Uh, mm-hmm. Are there any gyms in Sarah near the campus? Well, we have the Plaza. student uh, recreation center called X. 
Pics. Where you can find from gym to a variety of uh, activities, both cultural and sports related. Uh, I can share the website. Uh, you can, there are ticket hours, there are subscription, you can do anything from pottery to uh, fencing to uh, taekwondo to yoga to dance, zumba, painting, <laughs> drawing, screen printing, yeah. 3D printing. There are tons of activities that happen in X. Uh, do you have the X's website? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. And if you're not taking the gym on the university, the most uh, sought after one is the basic fit gym. Yes. Where almost all my friends go to right now. And they have like a minimal subscription of I think 10, 15 euros per month. It's, it's 20. 20 euros. Per person. Mm-hmm. And if you get the joint subscription, yeah. uh, one plus one person, uh, it's 30. Yeah. For both. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. And the gym is, I think, open 24 uh, 7? Yeah. There are two basic bits. Yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, two basic bits in Delft. Yes. Uh, the one is 24 7, the other, I think, closes at 10 at night. Yeah. And it's not <laughs> open on Sundays. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> do you remember the price of X? Like, uh, I think X is a bit more expensive. X is a bit Compared more expensive. Basic, but Compared to basic. But yeah. for, uh, for gym, you don't need an X subscription. That's what I remember Shashrut saying that you don't need an X subscription for gym, but you can do it separately. Mm-hmm. Oh, just the gym ah. part of it. Oh, okay. But if you get a subscription, you can uh, book a room for practicing oh, your okay. music lessons, your piano, your uh, guitar, whatever. And you can also get to the ticket hours where they have classes where you can yeah. say learn tennis, yeah. badminton, basketball, yeah, uh, volleyball. I don't know. Yes. They have so many sports and, and the, over there. And the training sessions take place on a fixed day in the week because yeah. uh, they have to accommodate a lot of people. So. Uh, it's not that flexible, so uh, keep keep your window open for yeah. those sessions. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, and to exchange students how pay is... for the gym. Uh, oh, yeah. We just told you about the yeah. first, and for the X, you can sign. We have put in the link. You can yes. check it out. So, how is the weather like in Delft? What kind of clothes are suitable for February to July? And is it necessary to bring down jacket or a raincoat? <laughs> a raincoat. Raincoat always. A raincoat, yeah. raincoat and rain pants are absolutely mandatory because it rains, I think, all year round here. Yeah. Right. In February, it'll be it's a bit cold, cold still, yeah. so you might need a, a jacket, jacket. Uh, probably a scarf or shawl and yeah. beanie and gloves. Yeah. And it Summer. starts getting summery in, I think, <laughs> June. Yeah. yeah, and it can get really hot in July and August yes. for sure. It gets really, really <laughs> hot in July. And I, like thirty. No, 30 is, yeah. Could be, could be yeah. even yeah. like 34, yeah. Yeah, it was extremely hot last summer. Yeah, yeah, it uh, was. Yeah. And you might not encounter that much snow in the Netherlands, no. even, even if it's, uh, <laughs> it's quite below. quite north, uh, but you will encounter a lot of rain. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> many, <wind. laughs> many rainy days and windy, yeah. yeah rain and wind, next yeah. to the ocean, so True. The, the climate can be quite tricky in that way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Are there any intramural casual sports leagues? What does that mean? Uh, there are some sports so, associations. Yeah. And they compete X. nationally as well. Actually, X is responsible for that. From what I know, because I'm not really familiar with that, I just have friends, mm-hmm. some, some friends that they play, uh, volleyball and basketball. Right. Uh, there are different teams uh, internally that you can take part, uh, and they compete They compete uh, inside uh, the UD, like small league or something yeah. uh, and there is the official team that I think you have to go through some uh, trial period uh, in order to get uh, accepted there yeah. and you can represent university in, in competitions and yeah. national leagues. Right. Yeah. You can certainly find more about uh, this when you get in touch with the sports associations at mm-hmm. one of the IP events. Uh, more info will follow on that. Um, then on my student housing, I see that there's a lot of subsidy, as you mentioned earlier, but how do I receive that from the government as an exchange student? Um, That's bank account. <laughs> <laughs> <My address. laughs> yeah. Once you're registered with the government uh, and if you are below 25 years of age, uh, for the rental allowance yeah. at least, you need to be below 25 years of age to get the allowance. And they, what the government does is it, it assesses whether you're eligible for the allowance based on the kind of house you're living in. 
So if it's a studio, you get the maximum allowance. If it's a shared accommodation, you might get some allowance or you might not at all get any allowance. Yeah. So you can check that here. And they assess and based that. on your uh, in, uh, your uh, rent as well. Yeah. How the, much? The basic yeah. The ba based on the basic rent, they give you a proportionate amount of allowance for that. Yeah. Toast slavin, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> there is also, I think, a website that uh, calculates it. Yes, yeah. yeah. something uh, that Because uh, Toast yeah. Lang, uh, I think, is for to apply for it. Uh, yeah. No, but I think when you apply, no, also, also you can calculate. Ah, you can also check calculate. Eligible yeah. Check it. Okay. How uh, much is the student transit pass? What exactly do you mean by the student is transit it pass? Okay, so trying to translate this page for <laughs> myself. Uh, any idea on the possibilities of exchange students on Delft housing waiting list getting a room in the end? Uh, after a lot of struggle, people do get a room. I don't. <laughs> I have not heard of anyone being houseless. People do couch surfing a lot. Yeah, for sure. At least in the first month, if you don't get a house, but at the end, somehow, some contact works through, and you do end up getting a place to stay. Right. Should I bring my car, or will I not be able to find parking for the time I'm there? What? You will be able to find parking, but especially in Delft, and the closer you get to the center, it can be quite tricky. I know people that they have their car here, mm -hmm. um, but. Make sure that where you park is allowed yeah. because they are super strict about the car policy and parking. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, if you're putting your park in a parking garage that's probably yeah. underground or something, yeah. that is, that charges quite a lot on an sure. hourly basis, so yeah. it can be quite expensive. But it's it's I would say it's handy to have a car here. I mean, okay, bike always is a good solution, yeah. but to have your car, I mean. Yeah, if yeah. you know how to drive and you yeah. have the license, I yeah, think it should be okay. It's a bit comfortable, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess uh, the person who asked about the student transit pass, we can still talk about the OBE chip card. Yeah, it might be the <laughs> yeah, public so, transport. Yes, so for, the, for traveling anywhere in the Netherlands, if you're going by tram, bus or train, you have a... Oh, it's a card like it's a, something like this. <laughs> it's a card. It's your personal. Card. So oh, you okay. either have the anonymous card where you pre you know keep filling in the amount as and when it gets over for after every journey, or you have a personalized chip card where you can uh, you know you can tune it according to the way you travel. So you have like a daily subscription for uh, some period of time, or you have a weekend subscription, or you have a fixed journey subscription based on how your traveling is and more information is uh, available on the link that Sushma has yes. There are many different yeah. like products that you can buy yeah. Uh, yeah. but there are no student discounts. No, I, I think it's... It, are there? No. Yeah. Okay. A student discount is if you know are what? a Dutch student. Yeah, only for Dutch students. Yeah, if yes. you're a Dutch student, yes, below 25 years of age. Yeah. Or if you've been studying in the Netherlands for five years or more. Mm -hmm. Is I, when you get yeah. it for free. We have another question. I can only start choosing accommodations from December 23rd. Does it mean maybe I will get the house that is far from the school? Uh, 1223, I think. Uh, yeah, December 23rd, I'm thinking. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but. No, yeah. Uh, what is this? How far is the far, farthest accommodation? How, how far is oh, the yeah. farthest accommodation? Yeah. Well, is this university housing? Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. like start choosing accommodation from... I think yeah. the farthest is Caesar Franstadt. So oh, that's right. about three kilometers. Van, yeah. Which one? Caesar Franstadt. It's near Van Hassel. Oh, uh, yeah, I know Van Hassel. So right. it's around yeah. three kilometers yes, from campus. But depending on your faculty building, it might vary because uh, yeah, aerospace is farther away. away. Yeah. 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 But, but I think uh, Delft yeah. is pretty small, so it's max to max yeah. of three kilometers in uh, one way. Oh, so. yeah. There are always options. Uh, yeah. I think it's impossible to end up far. Yeah. <laughs> it, it will be for sure in Delft. I mean, yeah. if you are eligible for the, for the platform, yeah. it, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Oh, interesting question. Any restaurants or pubs that I should pin on Google Maps before I arrive? <laughs> uh, hmm. Dig Heist? Oh, really? yes. I love to dig heist. Yeah. Can you can you share that on the chat? 
uh, uh, the one in the center. Uh, we booked. Oh, that's uh, a good one. Yeah, they have uh, live uh, jam jazz sessions um, yeah, yeah, yeah. on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, if you love jazz music, <laughs> yes, exactly. It's really great. Uh, yeah. I like beer fabric as well. Uh huh. They give peanuts for free <laughs> as well. Oh yeah. Growing it in their <laughs> exactly. in their factory. Uh, what other good restaurants are there to eat? Uh, you should try the Dutch street food. <laughs> what is a Dutch street food? Stroop waffles, uh, olive oil, bitter ball in. Yeah. <laughs> the Saturday market Saturday and Thursday market. market are best places to get like Dutch street food, uh, Dutch snacks, Dutch sweets. Uh, that happened in the center of Delft. Mm -hmm. French fries. French fries, yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. House of fries. Bram Ladaj for fries. Then uh, the Donor King. Donor King is most <laughs> yeah. friend friendly, yes. uh, budget eating outlet. <laughs> yeah. And it's open until like 2. 2 a.m. Yeah. yeah. So no matter when you're hungry, <laughs> you can go get a, I don't know, a donor. Yeah. And also cake is really beautiful. K E K. It's K -E -K. like a, yeah, it's, it's more brands. It's similar to the wow. yeast. Um, oh, lovely. Yeah, and it's it's an amazing place. Right. I'm gonna share this as well. And in general, uh, best of luck. Uh, which is the square, so, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the square like, with, the, with the many uh, yeah, yeah, bars, yeah. bars and pubs yeah. near the church. So I think it's, the best place is the Jagor Center. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that looks cool. fancy, you can walk in here. Right. Um, okay. Great. Uh, what are the best places to shop for used bikes and for brain clothes? Rain clothes, the cat, the cat, yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, blocker. I have my blocker. Uh, oh yeah. Rain outfit from blocker. <laughs> yes. Uh, and actually, we might have some. Yeah. Yeah, but they won't last. Stuff. Yeah, they won't <laughs> last probably. <laughs> the cat one, yeah. The cat one is the best. The cat one, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, rain gear. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. And for uh, used bikes. Uh, Market plots. Market yeah. plots, yeah. But they wanted a store. Uh, there are some stores that store. are uh, available in the in the yeah. in the city. Uh, I'm not able to remember the names of the top of my head. Yeah. But uh, okay. There's one really really good in Rotterdam. Like I will I will look it up and I will. Uh, the one that's that's run by blind people or handicapped people. Oh, Brickfit. Yeah. Brickfit, yeah. Brickfit. Oh yeah, that one, yes. Brickfit. Even Ratatan sells some bikes. The one near action uh rain That's where I got my second hand bike from. Including bikes. In, in fact, Decathlon is a nice place yeah, to Decathlon buy. Yeah, Decathlon is a pretty good place to get bikes. Bikes as well. Mega bike. It's it's also Whoa. quite nice. Where is that? Uh, it's in Rotterdam. For sure, there's okay. a mega bike in Rotterdam. Uh, there might be also another city. Like yeah, there's some um, in Den Haag as well. Yeah. Ones, uh, but like stock is so uh, inconsistent, mm -hmm. uh, especially so. Um, yeah, you'll have to count your luck on it to be able to find a bike your size. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why does their website say uh, it's not safe? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> or maybe I'm looking at a different one? <laughs> website? It says not secure for me. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, so, that's, that's what it appears. Yeah, not secure on the top. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I'm not sure if it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not. <laughs> Concert tickets, tickets or live show tickets in Dutch. Even bright. Even bright. And? Uh, oh. You can always check on the website of uh, Ziggo Dome or uh, Johan Krof Arena. Mm -hmm. On the website they have uh, their Ooh. schedule for uh, <laughs> any artists that come over. Yeah. 
What are the what was the name of the service to rent bikes for the phones? Swap Feats. Yeah. Swap Feats. Yeah. Maybe share the website. Yeah. Oh, this is not go as a link. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I got my Swap Feats just a couple of days ago because <laughs> my bike broke down because of the cold weather. Uh, so I'm quite happy with the service. And they insure uh, in case no. something, something breaks? It's not insured against theft. So oh. you have to make sure you lock it twice. Always. Yeah, the, your, your, your bikes twice. are, I think, a bigger price per possession than yeah. your wallet over yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because bikes get stolen without you. Even if you lock it two, three times mm, properly, yeah. they cut yeah. through the lock. So or make, your tires. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you get very strong right. locks. <laughs> no, uh, I've heard stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, keep your bike safe. Keep your bike in a place which is, you know, not attracting a lot of attention. Yeah, yeah. and it's sometimes difficult to find parking for your even for your bike. Uh, so uh, don't be hasty there. So yeah, just be. It, it may take a couple more minutes, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And invest in a good lock. It's very important. Yes. Yeah, they get rusty with the rainy weather. So, yeah, you might also want to get a nice replacement in case. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Anything else we want to share? No, I don't see any questions now. Did we miss any questions before? I don't know. Mm. Uh, I don't think so. Great. Okay. Great. We're doing Best places everything. to see in TU. Hmm. University is a good place. Check out all faculties. All the faculties. They have something unique yeah. of their own. Library. Library. I, I would say is uh, one of the best. Yeah. Echo building. Echo building. Yeah. Pulse. Pulse, yeah. Uh, fellowship. Fellowship. The lasagna fellowship. and fellowship is <laughs> heavenly. <laughs> great <laughs> great <laughs> menu, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and apart from that, in Delft in general, you can uh, see the old church, the new church. Uh, you can go to the top of the church and see a bird's eye. There's also a public library. Uh, there's a public library in the center as well, yeah. that's true. Oh, and there's a movie theater if you want to <laughs> yeah. watch a movie. Yeah. Um, they'll say how, like he said, yeah. that's a good place yes. to go, especially February when it's not too cold and people yeah. are, you can always yeah. hang out with your friends and have yeah. a barbecue night yeah. over yeah. there. Everything yes. is green and yeah. <laughs> chill there, it's yeah. just amazing. Yeah. Yes. And you have to admit that the architecture building is the prettiest. Sure. <laughs> it's, it's, no, I, yeah, yeah, that's true because... Uh, EMCS is crappy, <laughs> 3 M E is just flat, no. industrial design, <laughs> they the have building nice, is not so good, inside yeah, they it they looks have nice good. Furniture. I, yeah, yeah, I can give them that. <laughs> Civil is like, I think it's a Noah's Ark that's just going to take off and the whole yeah. Uh, yeah, thing yeah. sucks. Uh, so BK. Yeah. yeah. Is there a canteen on campus for students? Every oh, yeah. building has a canteen. Apart from that, even Pulse has a canteen, Ola oh, has yeah. a canteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Echo has a canteen and there are food trucks uh, outside, outside the campus as well, uh, on the campus as well outside the faculty buildings and they're only available for the lunch time yeah, yeah. and there's a line always <laughs> no matter which day of the week there's a line always yeah, yeah. yeah. but to be honest I find them a little bit expensive yeah, yeah uh, sure they are yeah considering that they that they have customers basically students it, yeah they could be a little bit cheaper yeah uh, but yeah yeah. There's a spa on campus as well, so it's a supermarket. It's a yeah. supermarket, mm -hmm. so you can always purchase your something there. Grab something there really quickly. Yeah. Uh, but most supermarkets here are like only a bike ride right yeah. away, so it's not that much of a trouble. Do that. How much is the general price for food in school canteen? There's a website for this, I suppose. No. Um, food on campus? I don't know. Not sure. Uh, uh, I don't think the menu is there, but I think a meal could be anywhere between 3 euros to 7 euros. Yeah, for a small sandwich, like 550. Yeah. Yeah. That's what comes to my mind, but like I don't buy often uh, yeah. from there, so I, I don't, uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, so what me, most people do is they sit in the canteen, they get their own lunch, uh, either cook it from home or get sandwich. 
bread and spread and things like that and just heated every building has a microwave oven not a but i'm pretty sure there are four five in every building so you can always heat your food during lunch Ooh. how to join the inner football university league i think more details on the associations will follow yes. when you arrive on campus because and you can ask this yeah during the ip yep we have a stall with some association yeah. and sports association you can always get in touch with them over there yeah and always the secretary of x uh the uh, can give you also related info yes. like to see what's the situation if there is an available spot mm-hmm. and right yeah they are okay. super friendly okay in the last five minutes mm-hmm. <laughs> um Last night it was minus four. <laughs> yeah, just, <it's> not... <laughs> <laughs> just to give you an example of <laughs> how, cold. <laughs> how cold can be. Yeah. If any of you are in the Netherlands during the Christmas, do visit the markets. Christmas, Christmas markets. Yeah, Christmas markets. Yeah. So beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> and everybody was there. Uh, like all the stores. <laughs> the one in Delft was completely was... crowded. Yeah. It was overcrowded. So many people. So many people. Yeah. <laughs> so the one in Amsterdam, The Hague. Yeah, Maastricht. And there's a light festival in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yes. Uh, maybe expensive, but uh, it's a beautiful yeah. event. But I think it's expensive only if you take the boat uh, tour. Uh, if you're just walking around, I don't think they oh, charge. Okay, it. nice. Yeah. <laughs> the boat thing is also like you can have like ten people on a boat, get yeah. your own food, drinks, and yeah, yeah. Oh. Warm, warm coffee in your mug. <laughs> Blue wine. <laughs> yeah. Blue wine. Yeah, they, they love it. Yeah, yeah blue wine is very right. popular drink here. Yeah. I think if the question well, are, I, I guess we should share that most uh, stores here close early on, like five or six p.m. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it may be a difference from your home country. At least for me, it was, and I was shocked. <laughs> Um, yeah, everything closes at six o'clock in the evening. At yeah. least during the winter season, yeah. it does. And the supermarkets stay open some until nine, some until ten. Yeah, but the big ones I think until ten. Yeah. And uh, Mondays can be a little bit tricky. Yes. Uh, not for closing supermarkets, but for other shows. Yes. Uh, Monday is also yeah. kind of a extended weekend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's similar to Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't be surprised if you go somewhere and find it yeah. closed on a Monday morning afternoon. Sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any more questions for us? No, I think we have answered yeah. almost everything. So I think the last statement we can say is that this was a general discussion on you know you guys coming to the Netherlands, coming to Delft, and staying here. Uh, we have another Q and A session in January that will uh, th- where we will discuss about all the. uh facilities for you as a student so the Thank your you. might you delft app your bright space and table. yeah Thank your timetable and all the other uh, information and community communication technology services Brilliant. that we have Brilliant. to offer that will aid you when you are studying over here yeah. in the university so that will be a little more technical but i think you need yes that because you are going to use it for the entire duration you are going to stay yeah okay all right when shall we arrive in delft to do all the induction uh this program is on 8th 9th and 10th of february and i'm assuming your classes are starting on the next week yeah like 13th yeah <laughs> yeah So if your classes are starting on 13th February we are having the introduction program just, just the week before that so an ideal time to arrive would be probably the weekend before that say 5th 6th 7th yeah, <laughs> yeah. to get yourself settled down also based on when your housing contract starts weekend, yeah uh, based on that you can arrive and get yourself settled down buy some groceries some uh, furniture yeah. anything that you need to settle down for a couple of days get to know a few people in beforehand sure. because the introduction program is a great place to make new friends yes and uh, i was speaking with experience that 
the group that you have during the introduction program you end up meeting them often during the year and that's where your first contact starts from so yeah right. definitely if you are there available do come up come to the introduction program is going to be yeah. a blast and if there's any chance um, you may not make it try your best to make it because uh, it's a it's a missed opportunity for you um, so we hope we can all see you there yeah yep all right well, thank you it. very much for all your questions i hope we could answer uh, to the best of our ability and uh, if you have any quer queries you can always drop us an email at uh, ip summer ip spring yeah. sorry spring right <laughs> dot nl anything related to the program whether any queries you have you can always direct it to us you can also direct it to the student ambassadors yes. what would be your email address um <laughs> <laughs> Second. Oh, it's, it's this one. I can't. Yep. Thank you, everyone, for attending, and have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Yay! <laughs>